Hello everyone, welcome to the episode 7 of Glenavi and how you all doing everyone? I'm here doing good myself and I think this is like the 10th time <laughs> that I'm trying to record the voiceover. I'm not sure if it's gonna be successful or not but like uh, the previous 10th tries that I've tried it was failed so it was a failure so <laughs> I hope that it's gonna go well. So hello everyone, welcome to episode 7 of Glenavi. And this is the episode where I'm gonna make a UK server slash the big expansion that I told you in the last episode. So, yeah, the first thing that I'm gonna uh, talk about here is what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to make a bridge, like a real bridge, a real big bridge right here. But I, I can't really quite find the right assets uh, to make the bridge. So, well, at the f uh, first place, I'm always using this eight lanes uh, roads, which is kind of make that you know like real deal bridge like real bridge uh, which is amazing but then it's uh, the road stuff it doesn't quite match the theme or the the avenue right, right there that you see there so well the avenue is the US theme roads uh, I'm using the press uh, United Core mods roads pack um, well, it comes with the yellow lines and stuff, which is amazing. And uh, eight lane roads, uh, it, it comes with the white lines, so it doesn't quite match the theme here that I'm trying to do. So I decided to just uh, using the, you know, the six lanes road just kind of match the theme. Well, uh, talking about the US roads, in the middle of Yuga suburbs that I'm building, I've posted this picture in Reddit, and yeah, many people asking like, why, why am I using the you know US roads in the Yuga suburb? It, it it's not realistic. I mean, you can just uh, change the road into the more European slash UK ones it, to make it more realistic. People will comment in that post, and yes, I know, but I mean. Come on, uh, I, I just love the US roots more than the, the you know the vanilla roots that comes uh, in Sea Skylines. I mean, they kind of look like European roots, which have those you know, white lines and stuff. Uh, but I still prefer the US roots more. Uh, just, uh, just my preference. So yeah, um, well, this episode is gonna be the longest episode of the Navi ever because. When I did the, um, the live play, well, there's gonna be live play in this episode. So, if you wanted to jump into the live play, you can do so by, you know, I don't know, click jump into the like tenth, ten minutes, or something like that. I, I'm not really sure, but you can jump into there. And well, little bit, little do that I little do, I know. I don't know how to say it, but little did I know that I've been, uh, you know, recording the live play for 17 minutes and it's crazy long. 17 minutes talking in the game, it's crazy long. So I didn't, I didn't notice that I've I've talked that long, but then it just kind of goes very long. So yeah, this is gonna be the longest episode of Glen of ever. Well, the last one. I um, mean the longest, which I don't. The last longest one. It was the second episode, I believe. It was 25 minutes. So this one's gonna go up to like 27, 30 minutes. I'm not sure, but I'm trying to keep it not above 30 minutes. So yeah. So I'm using here um, the UK semi-detached um, buildings that are available on the workshop. They are everywhere, basically. I mean these houses are amazing. It's just amazing. So they have way more detail than the um, American athletic houses. They have more props in it, which just makes it amazing. I don't need to detail them one by one and stuff. I mean, just like what I did for the American athletic theme, they are like ready out of the box, out of you know, you just plop it anywhere, and it's amazing. You don't need to. Um, uh, 
you don't need to detail them anymore which is amazing i can just plop them everywhere everywhere i want and it looks amazing so yeah that's for that well i'm not gonna talk any much longer because i'm gonna talk very very long later in the live play so i'm gonna leave here i'm gonna leave you here with the music and the time lapse and i'll see you later yeah
Hello everyone, welcome to the live play of episode 7 of Glenavi. And right now we are in the UK suburb itself And this is one of the intersections that I love here uh, In this area Because it's just uh, Because I loved it so I detail it a bit Like there's this lines But anyway, my FPS is kind of Very very bad uh, I'm sure it's I'm running on like 10 to 15 FPS right now and well if you notice the difference in the road yes I am right now using the vanilla road because uh, well I'm just wanted to show you like how is it looks like if I'm using the vanilla route which is kind of um, you know looks more into UK routes I mean, or European routes rather than the US routes that I use um, but I still love the US roads. I still love the US roads more than this um, vanilla roads, which kind of looks like um, more European. Well, I think it's kind of more realistic to have this uh, European roads here uh, in in the middle of UK suburbs, you know, because uh, UK are still using white lines, uh, while US is using like more yellow lines than UK. So um, I think it's kind of good I mean it's kind of more realistic but nonetheless I still love the US roots more so let me just um, pause, <laughs> pause this for a second and change the US root so that's that and I love this root it just looks more aesthetically pleasing in my eye I guess uh, I'm sure in your eyes too uh, even though it's not that kind of you know any realistic or something like that I'm not really kind of building any realistic stuff here in in this uh, <laughs> in this areas in Glenavi I'm just throwing everything that's in my imagination into the game so I ended up with this the UK suburb with the yes roots but I th nonetheless it still looks amazing um, so I think there's a lot and lots of things that I didn't show you in the time lapse like the time lapse is only like 70 to 80 percent of what are you seeing right now even though I mean there's a lot of still plenty of blank spaces here and there um, but let me just change the time I think it's better to go to the like evening oh, that's night time or just early morning um, let me see if I can find I think 8 8 is alright um, let's just stop the time first alright let me uh, show you what I've done here so first thing first I I've changed the trees um, using the prop replacer mod or I don't know what's that called well it's called um, let me open the window prop it up mod yeah prop it up mod so uh, I changed the you know like they were using like vanilla trees and you know vinyl trees it's okay but it's not really that great or anything so I decided to change them into the blue spruce and I think it looks way more amazing I actually did that as well in Blenheim well god damn it Blenheim it's so dense it's my first like drop into five or something like that so as you can see here like the houses pretty much are already upgrading already upgraded into the, like three uh, third level houses or fourth level houses and it's amazing um, I I've changed the trees as well but what wait a second I mean what is this let me see um, what is this this is ridiculous I think there's something wrong here why small bush is Alright, that's odd, but I think that just looks way better than to have the cabbage tree like before. Anyway, I mean, this is not our main uh, thing to talk about. Our main thing here is the UK suburb, so I think UK suburb looks way more beautiful. <laughs> Somehow, it's just way more beautiful than the Blenheim. Well, some, some of the, some of, uh, you know, the Blenheim sites are amazing, like this cold site. Uh, neighborhood here it's amazing so people have been asking me like how did I did how did I do this well uh, I don't know I mean if you want if you want me to 
uh, make a video about how do I make my cold sack I mean it's pretty much kind of similar into what press did so if you just wanted to um, to go to the uh, press videos like how he made cold sack I actually learned make the cold sack from him too but I kind of have a just slight slight uh, different things that I do here which is let me see if I can show you all right I think I can't but if I go to the um, to the asphalt here I'm, I'm just gonna show you what I'm using so uh, what I'm using is I'm using the I think the bubble asphalt silk, silk I'm sorry the floppable aspar asphalt circle I think I lost my <laughs> my ability to speak English god damn it so I, I I'm using it here basically just to make a circle then after I place it here like right here I just you know um, just tweak the roots all right let me just make this very quick all right um, so first first step is I made like two by two um, you know roundabout like like so and then I grab this circle and put it like on the very bottom edge of the roundabout itself let me see if I can just maybe yes so then I yeah just kind of tweak this roundabout a bit you know um, make what the hell happened all right let me just go back so something like this let me see if I can get this something like this all right after you you just like shaped the middle of the road with the asphalt so that is basically it so then I have this you know th it's called the probable asphalt transition so it kind of uh, make the transition between like the higher ground and the lower ground so what I did is I put um, this one like all over the place like I just, I'm just I'm gonna make this quick let me see if I can find like I think the terrain here isn't really that flat isn't it but what I did basically is like that like just basing around this transition like around this uh, roundabout so that is how I do my uh, <laughs> cul-de-sac thing I just remove all of that and we're good to go so what else that I haven't show you I think a lot of things that I didn't show you in the time lapse like this blocks this area right here I didn't show you this one as well um, so this two complex right here I didn't show you in time lapse and well this blank spaces in between this complex is gonna be a football stadium uh, that I'm gonna put over here so uh, it's gonna be in the future no right now that's why I'm keeping it blank right now um, this track and fields I'm gonna kind I wanted to make this kind of stadium as well so uh you know the the blank space around it isn't filled yet but i'm gonna fill it with some car parks and stuff um what else i uh, this um school elementary school with the <laughs> kind of i don't know it's just kind of ugly uh parking lots well i think it's kind of good but not really good for kids i don't know whatever i don't know what i'm talking about and this uh, tennis court as well tennis slash badminton court I'm not sure I think it's tennis court well what else that I haven't showed you I think this one I already showed you um, like basically pretty much this, this blocks this complex right here I already, I already shown you except like this details right here um, so let me just go here so I put this um, you know concrete um, roads and then I think that there's a big gap between you know the sidewalk and the houses and then like you know the cars are like parking oddly in the middle of like in the middle of the street if I don't have this um, sidewalk so I decided to put the sidewalk like I think this one is the concrete 
curb so um, I just make it like a sidewalk I think it works beautifully with the sims as well just look at that um, like the sims are walking on this area right here and well um, before this it's like plain and blank and it's just kind of giving a very an odd feeling <laughs> when you look at it and I decided to put this curb right here uh, to make it a sidewalk and I think it looks amazing it looks very very amazing so that's that um, what else that I haven't shown you I think this um, large avenue <laughs> so there's a businesses here or well, some clinics some I think fire station yeah this one is should be like a very small fire station and this one is the police station well yeah this one is the police station uh, as well as this one uh, is the police station as well so I've been using this you know pathway I think this one is called pathway a lot like just look at that I mean this pathway is come like plain or just it, it comes like this right out of the box right when you plop it everywhere so it's very detailed it's amazing um, like I don't need to waste time to finally um, you know to do this kind of um, detailings and it's just amazing I've been putting this uh, I don't know how many times in this one and here as well so that's two and so this one, this one is three and I think this one is four so there are four of um, that pathway here and just look at this like how beautiful is that I think this is amazing so I'm sure that I'm, that I'm gonna use this pathway a lot more often here uh, in Glen Abbey and this area right here is like the kind of very suburbs area because the road itself it just make kind of you know suburb feelings um while well, this road like this one have a line have lines here in the middle of them like this road i think this one is called um, let me see if i can find the road itself uh this one is called two lane suburban street yes so the suburban street it's just amazing it's very clean clear there's nothing in there's nothing on them actually uh, just the sidewalk itself and I love this transition between the you know the asphalt and the sidewalk itself it's just amazing how detailed the route is I hope that there's gonna be like an ordinary uh, route that have this like all of ordinary routes having this I just wish that they have but I don't think it's gonna ha happen anytime soon so but for now I think this one is just very great it's really calming feelings uh, that's what I say so that's about that the main thing that I love here is the, like this intersection just like this intersection it's just very calming feelings even though like my game right now is runs and like 15 10 FPS just very amazing so I don't know how long I've been talking about I think I've been talking about l long time <laughs> I don't really want it to make this uh, episode uh, very long but I don't know this live play is kind of uh, time consuming not really time consuming I mean, it's just like I had a lot of stuff that I want to show you and then when I kind of um, you know um, out of out of things that I want to show you I wanted to end the episode but then just just a lot more things I realized that there's a lot more things to show you so just a lot of things like this um, fire station like this one is the bigger one bigger fire station that I put here because you know that that small fire station right there right there can't really reach up this area right here so I put one right here the big one uh, it covers like most of the area in in here so that's good I put this Carol's kitchen as well it's amazing how amazing is that <laughs> Carol's kitchen he's such an amazing builder isn't he so uh, I just love his creation and stuff what else should I talk about I think I've been talking way too long let me see if I can uh, <laughs> find some 
place to end this episode. I don't know. There's a lot of beautiful place right here, but I think the one that doesn't really take much FPS is here. Because, like, I don't know. I mean, that, that view is, like, the plan of view, so there's a lot of things going on right there. So, just look at my FPS there. It's crazy bad. So, there's the sun. And in here, I think it's very calming. So, everyone, that is all for the episode 7 of Glenavi. And this is the cinematic camera footage for his way more than I expected. I think uh, this area is just very beautiful. So, if you do like this video, please give a like to this video. And if you do enjoy this episode and the whole series, please make sure to subscribe because I would love to see you in the next one. And I'm sure that you want to see me in the next one for another amazing creation and city skylines uh please make sure that you, you know if you have any ideas um that want that you want me to build in the city just please um you know give them any comment section below type anything that you want me to build in this uh, uh, in the city so everyone until the next time i wish you to have a nice day and goodbye